Hello friends, welcome back to this channel, I hope you are healthy and safe. In the last video, I showed you what are sets in Python and I also showed you how they are related so much to sets in mathematics. which we must have learned in school, high school, college or universities. Now, as we are on the topic of lovely mathematics, I thought it's the best time to show you something else. So first of all, math is mental abuse to humans. If you don't know in this video I'm going to show you operators in Python so we have been using them already but there's few more that I wanted to show you and I also wanted to show you some other things that you can actually do with it So we'll get started now. I'll pull up my Visual Studio code. Going to pull up a new file. Going to save it as opera.py. I'll do it on my desktop. Perfect. Now we have gotten the file. So guys. If you have not watched the videos um, that I put prior to this video, I'm requesting you to select the play playlist in this channel and watch it. Watch the videos from the very beginning because the way I'm making these videos in a playlist, if you follow the playlist from the very first video, you will understand Python from very beginning starting from installation we have already made few projects small small projects and we'll be making a lot more however if you are watching the videos randomly you might not understand what I'm doing so it's very important that you watch the videos in sequence on the on the playlist and if you haven't been um, liking the videos or haven't subscribed to the channel please do so also press the bell notification so you get notified whenever I'm putting a new video on please share these videos with your family and friends spread the knowledge and learn with others so regarding these operators in Python first of all let's create two variables so I'm gonna create a as 10 B as a 3 so first thing we do in mathematical operators is addition so if I do print a plus b what do you think it's gonna be what is 10 plus 3 because both of them are integers so they can be added we get an answer as 13 okay, I'm just gonna copy this Now I'm doing a minus b. So what is 10 minus 3? You get 7. It's answer. So that's simple addition and subtraction in Python. This is how you do it. What about multiplication? Yes, you can multiply. 
and for that you do A into B so use the star sign and that's 3 sorry 30 can also do division that's a slash b it will result in 3.33 because 10 is not fully divisible by 3 so that's simple addition subtraction multiplication and division but there's few other things that you can do in Python what are they so guys you can actually use modulus I'll tell you what that is the way you use it is you write percentage sign there instead of division you're writing percentage sign now what does modulus do we know that 10 is not fully divisible by 3 so 3 into 3 is 9 10 minus 9 is 1 so the remainder of this division is 1 that's what modulus give you, gives you so you can see we get 1 so if you want the remainder of a, of a division you use modulus operator which is the percentage sign now what if I do instead of using one multiplication I'm using two stars what does this mean it means that 10 will be raised to the power 3 a will be raised to the power of B so this is a sign of expon exponent sorry I'll actually just pull it up rather than saying it incorrectly again exponentiation okay so that's raised to the power 3 here we go And guys, the link I just showed you is from W3 schools. And you can see they mention all of these there. Now, there's another one which is flow division. And I'll show you what that is. This is two slashes instead of one now what is flow division we know that to divide 10 by 3 what we do is we multiply 3 into 3 it gives us 9 and then the remainder is 1 so whatever you are multiplying with it with that's what you get from, from flow division so in this case we are multiplying 3 into 3 that's what you get from flow division and I will show you this in a different example as well but before that I want to show you on the W3 websites sorry W3 website here we go W3 school website so you can see x is 15, y is 2. x divided by y is 7. Why? Because when you're dividing 15 by 2, you multiply 2 by 2 into 7. You multiply 2 and 7, and it gives you 14. And then the remainder is 1. So the flow division rounds the result down to the nearest whole number. 
and we can do this in another example so if this was psi 20 and this was psi um, 2 so and now the answer for flow division should be 10 because 2 into 10 is 20 so whatever you are multiplying it with that's what you get as the answer I hope this is clear because um, a lot of people still don't really know what this flow division is used for now this is regarding integers I'm just gonna comment these out Now we know that we have done um, string concatenation in strings lecture and I'll show you one. Um, all we need to do is just create a variable with a string in it and then another variable with a string in it. So first one is say it's uh, Second one is good die. So if I type print x plus y, I get it's a good die. This is when you use addition with strings, instead of adding them up, it concatenates them. So remember that I've explained this in the strings tutorial already. So there's one more thing that you can do with strings. Um, you can say C is equal to or let's say lots of good days and we can just do y y was good day and we can multiply it by and if I print lots of good days, you can see it says good day, good day, good day, good day, 10 times. So you can multiply strings as well, like this. What else can we do? We can use these just comment these out. We can use these strings, no sorry, these operators with list as well. So if I do one, two, three, and two, ten. If I clear this, you can see one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three gets printed ten times. So you can use these operators with list as well. How about I create two lists now? So let's do odd one, three. Five, even, two, four, six. Mm 
let's do um, total odd plus even I'll do print total See, it says one, three, five, two, four, six. So, using add with list has made a bigger list with all of them inside. So, both list values are now inside the bigger list. So guys, I hope um, this lecture gave you a basic understanding of what operators are in Python, how they can be used, what is modulus operator, what is flow division, which is very important, and how we can use these operators on strings as well as lists. So guys, I'll see you in future lectures. Have a safe day.